Greetings and welcome to evening prayer. Our conversation with God for tonight will focus on healing. It comes from our book, Prayer Talk, Casual Conversations with God. And so we begin with the sign of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My conversation with God went something like this. I'm very pleased to hear, God said, people talking about healing today. I do heal and I love to be asked to do it. Really? Well, then why do you heal some and not others? That has troubled me, God, for a very long time but I've never dared to ask it. That is a question that many of my children grapple with and the answer is ever so simple. Simple? Really, God? Please do tell. Believe it or not, I heal everyone who calls on me. I don't always perform what you call miracles but I reach out with love, the greatest of all miracles, to calm and strengthen all my children. Do you mean, God, then, that you heal hearts but not bodies? No, I always heal hearts, and at times my healing goes beyond hearts into entire bodies. I heal memories, reconcile friends, calm fears, encourage fear-filled people, and do all those things a loving parent does for their child. But God, why do some good people seem to suffer so much pain? It isn't fair, is it? Fair is your word, not mine. I don't necessarily remove pain from those who are my friends, but I do give them the strength to bear it. Remember the words of the prophet Jeremiah. My plans for you are plans for good, not for harm. But our living, or your living, I should say, in an unjust and imperfect world, sometimes there are things that just are part of that reality, like a pandemic, if you would. The pain and the suffering has a goodness and value all on its own. One can grow from pain, and if I were to take away all the pain, I'm not sure my children would ever grow into mature, loving, and healing adults. Our story this evening is about a man named Bob. Bob was a thief ever since he had turned 16 years old. He stole whatever was not nailed down if it had any value to it so that he could sell it in order to support his drug habit. A long road to recovery with medical help had cured him of his drug habit. But the shame of his past lived on with him. He moved to another state and resolved never to tell anyone about his past. Then he fell in love with Anne. Should he tell her of his past? Could he let her marry him without telling her? One evening as they sat together, Bob blurted out his story. As he spoke, he began to cry. He was perspiring. His hands were cold and clammy. 
When he was finished, Anne took him into her arms and said, Thank you, Bob. Thank you for trusting me enough to share your story. I love you now more than ever before. With Anne's love, Bob could finally make peace with his past and accept himself. His healing was complete. For a long time now, physicians have talked about the body-soul connection in healing. They diagnose some illnesses as psychosomatic, meaning that a deep emotional problem often causes a very real bodily disorder. They have discovered that not only by healing the spirit are they able to also bring about healing to the body. Today, holistic medicine talks of many illnesses as functions of poor diet, lack of rest, troubled hearts, and poor relationships. Healing has a many-sided reality. God's healing works in ways we do not really understand. Perhaps this is because we have only begun to grasp the complex relationship of body and soul. Our prayers for healing begin, or should begin, with the request that the person be healed. God knows where and how and when and why. Let us pray. God, healer of the brokenhearted, encourager of those twisted by pain, strength of the discouraged, power of the powerless and afraid, heal our pain-filled world. Heal the insensitivity among us, which allows third world babies to starve while we labor to lose weight, which denies food to pregnant women while meeting on the right to life, which hoards grain in thousands of bins while others silently die because they have no food. Heal the hardness of our hearts that once healed, we may rush to heal our brothers and sisters and to create a healed world. Amen. As we take leave of one another this evening, what is it that you need to be healed from? What is it that someone you love and care for needs to be healed from? Begin your prayer then tonight, asking God for healing. And God will do the rest in God's time. Good night and God bless.